Okay, I'm doing a quick review here of this little drone that I got off of a Facebook ad for somewhere around 30 bucks. Now this is what showed up in the box. And I'll pick it up here just to kind of show you what it looks like. It's extremely light. And I did try and carry a GoPro on it without the case on it, which is very light, and it can't carry that. It can't carry anything other than its own weight. And here's the controller it came with, and then the little carry case it came with. Now, I was not expecting much when I paid 30 bucks, um, But, you know, it's, it's worth 30 bucks. I would say that. The controller takes three... Uh, AA batteries, which I've left the the cover off the back because I have noticed that when I leave them in, and even though I seem to have turned the thing off, it still drains the batteries. So I've taken a video that I recorded to my phone through the Wi-Fi connection, and I will post that at the end of this video to see uh, the quality of the picture, um, if you can call it quality. Anyway, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here to do this because I'm manning the camera as well as the machine itself. And I can tell you, I do have previous remote control aircraft and helicopter uh, experience. Now, they don't fly themselves like these things. They fly, you have to fly it. These things are basically telling it where to go, up, down, left, right, yaw, etc. And the computer system or whatever it is itself actually does the aerodynamic part of the actual flying. Um, but even so, I suspect that if you had no experience with RC, you would be crashing this thing a lot, I think, because uh, it even took me a learning curve. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to do my best here. I'm just in my living room, um, but here we go or sorry, in my bedroom. I'm going to do it like this and see what I can do. Okay. So it's flying. But, you know, the thing is, every time you start this thing up, you have to retrim it. And it does not stay in trim. I'm just hovering it here, but you trim it, and, and, and you move in one direction, and then it, it needs to be retrimmed again. Especially when you yaw it. Like, as soon as I yaw to one side, it, it wants, it's out of trim. Even just a touch. So, trim is terrible. But it does fly. I'm hovering it in my bedroom right now just to show you that it flies. It's a little tricky to, to, to control in a, in a room like this because you'll hit the wall. Now it does come with little propeller guards but it doesn't seem to need it because I've hit the wall a dozen times already and it did not break the propellers. It's just so light that it doesn't really hurt itself easily. Um, yaw control is, is good. But like I said, as soon as you yaw it, it goes out of trim. Um, if you yaw it back in the other direction, it seems to go back into trim. So it's weird. Um, up and down seems to work okay. And then once you once you center the stick, it seems to hold its, its hover pretty consistently. Um, but it's not very stable. I mean, as far as the hands-off control, it doesn't hold position well. You have to keep it in position all the time. Now, as you can see, I'm hovering this thing right in front of my face, which took quite a bit of practice to do. Now, <coughs> uh, like I said, yawing it, it'll just go out of trim, so I try not to yaw it too much. But it flies, it'll fly like this in one position for about four or five minutes. Um, and, and you pair it with your with your phone. Now trying to control it with your phone is outrageous. It's just too much delay, plus you don't feel anything on the sticks. You need self-centering spring-loaded sticks to do this properly. Um, but it flies. I mean, 30 bucks. I mean, when you think about it, 20, 30 years ago when we were kids, you couldn't buy anything like this at all, let alone for 30 bucks. 
So this is a mass-produced, cheap little plastic drone that actually works. And you know what? It's not half bad for just practicing to hover. However, the, the more expensive ones have more position control and they're a lot better, so I know that. It does have a camera, and like I said, I'm going to post a, a video that I took outside um, off of my phone, because it, it doesn't record with, a, with an SD card or anything like that. It only records straight onto your phone. <coughs> but it works. Now, because I'm inside, I'm not doing a lot of the yaw control and stuff. I'll try and do a full circle here, but it's probably going to hit the wall. So, ready? Here we go. Let's, let's try. Whoa, see, now it's totally out of trim because I did some yawing. I'm going to yaw it back, and there you go. That's what happens when it hits the wall. It crashes. But it didn't break. See, it's ready to go again. You press the button, turn it back on. Oh, the battery came off. Re rebind it. And there you go, it's in the air again. So it doesn't break easy at least. I mean, I'm sure if you stepped on it, it would. But hitting things, doesn't see, but of course, again, I've restarted it, so it's way out of trim again, and i got to try and trim it again. There we go. Now, the piece of tape you see on the back of it, if you can see that, it's holding a dime in place, because there wasn't enough trim to hold it from going forward constantly, so I put a little, tiny little bit of wet ballast weight on the back, so that it stays within reasonable trim when I'm doing the forward and backward movement. Anyway, excuse the quality of this little review video, but I'm just showing you. This is what, on Facebook advertising, when they advertise this amazing drone for 30 bucks, this is what you get. And I can tell you, it's not amazing, but it's pretty damn good for 30 bucks. I mean, I can't complain. It works. I've had it for a little while. I've used it a few times. <coughs> but, you know... This is nothing more than a toy. You know, the DJIs and the Mavericks and stuff like that, they're a little more advanced, and I wouldn't necessarily call them a toy. But this is very little more than a toy. There you go. It crashed again. And whoa, and that time it recovered. Holy smokes, that's unusual. But anyway, I'm going to try and come as close as I can to the camera here without crashing into myself. There you go. There's a good look at it. It actually works, barely, but it works. Again, like I said, it, it doesn't have any good control for, for holding in position. So, But what it is doing is it's staying level, and it's going up and down and stuff without... Like, if you've ever flown a real RC helicopter, or the, the quadcopters before they were totally computerized and all automated flying... You know that it's very difficult. It's like balancing a basketball on your finger when you're doing it with a remote control ro robot finger. That's what it would be like flying a real helicopter. So anyway, that's enough of that. So here you go. I am going to edit it now and put on the footage of the video that I made outside the other day. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice here is that there is no sound. This drone and the camera does not record audio at all. It only records video. So, I will put some uh, music in the background here that is appropriate for a silent video. That was 
was planted in my brain still remain within the sound of silence in restless dreams I walked alone narrow streets of cobblestone color to the cold and down when my eyes were stained by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw 10,000 people 